This video will be a continuation in our nervous system series, and this video will cover neuron repair and regeneration. There are a couple of different types of injuries our nervous system can sustain. The first is a crush or a compression injury. A crush injury is going to squish our nerve fibers flat and render our neuron unexcitable. This creates a numb feeling and when the pressure is relieved, the axon will slowly become excitable again, giving us the sensation of pins and needles. Neurons can survive compression for about two hours before permanent damage is done. So if you experience this while you sleep, you always wake up and roll over before you do permanent damage. If you are in a bad car accident, you have about two hours to get out of that crush or compression area if you want to maintain neuron function. After those two hours, that nerve fiber begins to die, at which point function may or may not be recovered. Our second type of injury is going to be an injury that severs the axons of a peripheral nervous system neuron. If this occurs, there is a chance that you can regain normal function. The process by which this occurs is called Wallerian degeneration. So if we slice through our axon, let's say we're chopping up vegetables and we cut our finger and we sever an axon. The first thing that's going to happen is that our distal stump, the portion farthest away from our central nervous system, is going to degenerate along with the Schwann cells surrounding that distal stump. So here in our picture, we see our axon breaking up and we also see our Schwann cells breaking up. We don't want that debris to hang around. So soon after that, macrophages will move into the area to phagocytize cellular debris. By this time, our soma is going to get word that our axon has been damaged. Our soma is going to swell. With the swelling of the soma, our ER and NISO bodies are going to become larger and they displace the nucleus and the nucleus is shoved to the side of the soma. At this stage, some of our neurons die. However, if our neurons live, then the proximal stump may sprout several new growth processes. These growth processes are going to explore and they are going to try to find something called a regeneration tube. A regeneration tube is formed by a cord of proliferating Schwann cells. So our Schwann cells are going to begin dividing and they create a regeneration tube where the axon used to be. If we are lucky, one of these growth processes will find its way into the regeneration tube and grow towards its former target cell. This doesn't always happen. Sometimes our process will get astray and grow out of our regeneration tube. And if that occurs, then we never connect with our target cell. So our growth process may find our regeneration tube. If that occurs, then our nerve fiber may reconnect with our original target cell, but this can take time. If our growth process does not find our regeneration tube, then we never reconnect with our original target cell, and this neuron no longer works for its intended function. 
This process is very different in our central nervous system. So in our peripheral nervous system, we go through the process of Wallerian degeneration. But in our central nervous system, we do not have axonal regeneration. We don't get macrophages clearing away debris, and instead our microglia are going to come clean up our cellular debris, but our astrocytes are then going to put out inhibitory molecules that prevent the regeneration of that axon. So damage to our central nervous system is permanent which is why you should take very good care of your brain and spinal cord because if you damage your brain and spinal cord there is a high likelihood that you will not regain normal function. If you have any questions please do not hesitate to contact your instructor.